A somber end to an ambitious lunar mission. Japan's iSpace says it has not been able to complete a moon landing. It's the firm's second attempt and comes just two years after its first go, which also ended with a loss in communication. iSpace CEO Takeshi Hakamada says as of 8 a.m. local time, four hours after the planned touchdown, the team determined that reconnecting with the lander was unlikely. え、the unmanned lander, dubbed Resilience, was vying to become Asia's first commercial spacecraft to make it to the moon. So far, only two American firms, Intuitive Machines and Firefly Aerospace, have accomplished the feat. Earlier, over 500 people gathered here to watch Resilience's descent, including a team from Taiwan. Dr. Lauren Chang from National Central University and his students have a direct role in the mission as the makers of this device that's aboard the Japanese lander. It's a radiation probe and Taiwan's first ever lunar instrument. iSpace's flight data showed Resilience's altitude dropping suddenly a few moments before the scheduled landing of 4.17 a.m. local time the room falling into several minutes of silence as those gathered awaited confirmation. iSpace was later able to confirm that the measurement of Resilience's altitude was delayed, which meant its actual position was closer to the moon than the team thought. On top of that, the spacecraft was also traveling too fast. ミッション 1 but as to what exactly those phenomena were, iSpace says it will take time to look at the data and did not say when they'd be able to determine the root cause of the failure. Despite iSpace now having two failed lunar missions, it's not giving up. They say they'll be analyzing the data to figure out what went wrong and apply those lessons to future missions like those already in the works. So a setback here, but not yet an end to iSpace's hope of making the moon more accessible, a goal that many companies and countries are racing to hit. Ethan Chen and Joyce Zen in Tokyo for Taiwan Plus.